All right, guys, this time we're going to be trying the um, acid with a water mixture. Always remember to put your water in first and your acid second. And I've got three things that I'm going to be trying it on. I've got this little rusted wheel thing right here. This little thingamajig. An old can. You see the rust on all ends means it's not aluminum like the new ones are. Jackie the and I fill our stuff up. Alright, now we've got our <clears throat> our mixture stirred up and our pieces are in there. Just gonna give it um maybe 10, 15 minutes, half an hour and we'll come back and check on it. All right, well, it's starting to get dark out. And as you can see, these two are pretty rusty. So I might have to check back in on them tomorrow, but I didn't want to leave you empty-handed for the night. So here's what we've got so far off on the can. You can see it's a lot cleaner now. And you can uh, make out the name, Ballard's um, Draft, I think. But I'm going to be putting that back in too, to see if we can't get all of that off. And check back in with you tomorrow. <clears throat> well, it might actually be going better than I thought. I um, After I turned that off and put the can back in, I pulled these two out to check and see. And you see, all a lot of the rust is already starting to flake off that and uh, I just gave him a good a good smacking against that and a lot of the chunks of it just started to fall off so I'm going to put those back in and we might be able to see some results tonight if they they're looking good enough to put on I'll just uh clean them up and show you after I get that done Okay, so it's been um, six hours and 12 minutes since we started with the stuff in the acid bucket. Um, around two and a half, three hours in, I decided to change the water acid mixture for just a pure acid mixture. Um, but before that, see the can is a lot cleaner, but it started to take the pain away. You can now you can see it's a genuine Ballantine, probably draft, and then some of the other pieces came out a little bit better. These are two that I added. You can see there's a lot of pock marks and still little bits of rust on them. But I was satisfied enough with this. <clears throat> and I said these aren't anything super important to me or anything. And you can see it took away a lot of the rust that was all over them. And then what I did afterwards was I just um, neutralized the acid in some baking soda water and then rinsed them off with regular water patted them dry and then used a um i just uh used an oil and patted that oil in to prevent any more rusting it's not really the best way to do it and i'm sure it's a very temporary way of doing it but you can see how how well it it did work on it but that little wheel thing didn't turn out quite so well you see that the middle broke snapped out of it basically if you look at it you can see how like this is just how thin some of the metal in it ended up being like you see that thing was probably the most rusted thing I threw in there. 
hard to tell um, if the acid just was too much too fast for it or if there just wasn't enough uh, base metal there to begin with. <clears throat> and like I said, um, hydrochloric acid is really strong. Um, it will get rid of the rust, but I've seen a lot of um, people saying that it'll also eat into the bare metal and cause flash rusting, all kinds of problems. So you still want to if you if that's something that you really care about, it's you're always going to want to um, use electrolysis. But I just wanted to show how this works for. We're moving the rust from these things. Um, I'm sure you, if you have like a, um, like some kind of wire wheel or grinder or something, you could, you could probably clean these up a little bit better, but I'm satisfied with it where it is for now. Thanks for watching.